Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to perform the sound generator modification on your BMW Z4. And there's two methods of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out for a drive to refresh ourselves on what it sounds like before the modification. And then we'll come back, remove the parts, and then we'll do a comparison of what it sounds like before and after. Right, now that we're on the road, it's time to give this car a little bit of a pull to see what this sounds like in stock form. So we're just going to slow it down a little bit, put it into first gear and floor it. Well, you definitely get a lovely six cylinder soundtrack, but it does sound rather muted and with all the tire roar and all the wind noise you get around the cabin, because it's not the most refined in the world, and then all the rattles you get as well, as a result of that, it is rather subdued in terms of how it sounds, which is a shame because I really want to hear that six cylinder sing, but it just isn't enough there to really encapsulate that beautiful soundtrack. Right, so let's now perform the modification. So the things that you will need, you will need a flathead screwdriver and you'll also need a lot of patience. So if you look down here, you can see there's like a Jubilee clip and you need to get your flathead, flathead screwdriver and then undo that. So let's now do that. And with relative ease, it comes off in a jiffy. So let's make sure we keep pushing it up. So it's then facing an easier angle and then you slacken that off until it's completely loose. So next course of action is then to pull it out of place. So what you ideally want to do is start, maybe actually you want to start from the bottom down here. Sorry, I'm not the most practical person to work. And look, it comes off in a jiffy. That wasn't very tightly secured. And you want to pull this off on this end. It should come out and there we are. That was actually a lot easier than I anticipated it to be. So here is the part, and basically you wanna basically take this out from this end first, all the way down there. It's a little hole in there. Bring that out and then slacken this off on this end from this little tube here, and just wiggle your way out, get to take the part out. Next thing you wanna do is then take off this part to make sure this part is separate so you can expose the two foam parts. So I think it is just basically you're meant to just pull it like in a circular motion, like up, down, up, down. Eventually it will then come off and then you are then presented with the sound generator thing. And you can see there's a foam part here and also a foam part here. And then what you want to do basically is just take it out. Now what I have heard in the forums, um, it's probably advisable to keep one in, which is this end, which is then facing in, like the engine part. And then obviously this part is in the bulkhead down there in that little circle. It's entirely up to your discretion on how you want to do it. Um, I personally think from what, I, what I've read on the forums, it's probably advisable to do what they say. And they said, this is more than enough noise. Um, otherwise, if you take up both out, I've heard that it is just overbearing and way too loud and a bit annoying after a while. So yeah, I'll, I'll see what this does. I'll take this out first and see how this sounds. Okay, now I'm going to show you method two, the much easier way. If you want to basically have the noise that I have in this video after you've watched it, this is the much easier way of doing it. Um, so this will basically facing towards you. This, and this is the bung that will be coming out. So all we need for this job is a screwdriver with four points on it. I don't really know how to explain that. And then you'll need some pliers. And these pliers will be useful for you if you're like me, short, five foot and a half, um, to basically pull out the bung because it's quite a stretch otherwise. So basically what you need to do is go under the glove box and there'll be two screws for this plastic trim. One here, if you can see it, and one here, there. So I'll do my best to show you. So if you just go in here, unscrew it. Lefty Lucy. Both screws are now falling out and then you expose this tray that drops down, exposing all the fuses and the interior light down beneath. And then if you can see through there, I'll overlay some videos, 
there is a circle, which is the bulkhead for basically this, which this then pokes through into that interior circle in the bulkhead and exposes the foam, which was once in here. And essentially all you want to do, if your arms are long enough, you can probably prise it out, but it is quite snug, snugly fit in there. So what you want to do is get the pliers and then basically pinch on it. And then what I found was easy was like doing that, also doing a circular motion, but also pulling at the same time. And then it just kind of gets it out with relative ease, but it doesn't actually rip it because you're constantly doing a circular motion rather than trying to yank it out. Um, it's just a bit of an easier method to do that. So if you do like the noise of what this sounds like without by the end of this video, this is probably your go-to method of doing this sounds modification rather than going through the perils of going all the way through your engine bay and doing all of that unnecessary noise and drama. You can just essentially do it from inside your car unless you want to experiment doing without both bungs. Um, then you will need to go in the engine. But if you don't, and you'd like to use the sound from just this without, then you only have to go underneath the glove box. Okay, everyone, now going to drive this without the bung. We've now done the modifications. Now it's time to see what it sounds like. So let's put it in sport mode. And let's just floor it. <laughs> the difference in sound is absolutely profound. This has completely enhanced the whole driving experience of this car. Truth be told, I've actually done this modification before, but I put it back in to do for video for it and because it wasn't sit making a noise anymore. It seemed to disappear. I think maybe the, 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 the bung on the end that goes to the bulkhead wasn't in properly. So it, it made an opportunity for me to make a video on it, but also to correct it. And now the sound is actually back. I forgot how brutal, but glorious it sounds in the cabin. And one thing that I miss about it is the downshifts. As you can hear earlier, you can't hear the downshifts at all, but now, when you do a rev match, it sounds absolutely sensational. Something else I have noticed when having this modification is that you don't necessarily have to drive it fast to really appreciate it. It's all about how much you modulate the throttle. So right now, put it to third, and if you put a bit more pressure here, that's when you get the noise. So even if you're in like a high gear right now, for example, I'm doing fifth, yeah, about 38 miles per hour. You can hear it a lot more, it's more pronounced. Whereas if I was to literally just ease on the throttle, you can't really hear it. So that is something to bear in mind if you are in the car. You don't, you can modulate it and manipulate it in such a way where you don't always have to have the noise but then you can if you really want to. And it's just the downshifts. <laughs> oh, it's so addictive. Let's just do a quick launch here to hear the noise fully. Genuinely does kind of like sound like a flat six. I don't know if it's just my ears playing up, but it sounds absolutely fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, did, it sounded good before, but you just couldn't hear much. That's the problem. But with this, you can hear a whole, whole lot more. And the down, you get the rev match of the downshifting. <laughs> it makes it so rewarding. I have no idea how loud it would sound without both, but I am more than satisfied with this noise. I think any more, it'd be just overbearing. This is perfectly ample noise for in the interior. But the question is, would I ever change it and would I go back? Absolutely not. This is perfect.
Well guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's been helpful and also insightful in terms of having the bung removed from your sound generator in your BMW Z4. So if you have found it helpful, then please do give it a like and a comment. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.